Famcast Media. Bitch. Seems like things are getting a lot crazier now. Good afternoon, demons and demonesses. So I was scrolling down Twitter and um, a friend of mine who is also a member of the Satanic Temple, uh, her name is Aria De Satanas. Aria De Satanas. I, I'm, I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to read the font, but I'm going to just leave the uh, the Twitter screen name right here at the bottom so you guys can go follow her. She posts a lot of good stuff. Well, anyway, she sent me this tweet. It's, it's one of the White House spiritual advisor. I think it's both Donald Trump's and Mike Pence's spiritual advisor. And let me tell you, this woman is rather crazy. Uh, I'm going to just show you guys the clip. We break and divide every demonic confederacy against the election, against America, against that who you have declared to be in the White House. We break it up in the name of Jesus. We lose confusion into every demonic confederacy directed right now at this election, directed specifically at the six states. We come against people that are working in high levels right now with demonic confederacies and secrecies and demonic plans and networks. We break it up and we command that it be exposed right now. In the name of Jesus. Strike and 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 strike until you have victory for every enemy that is aligned against you. Let there be that we would strike the ground for you will give us victory, God. I hear a sound of abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of shouting and singing. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of an abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory. I hear a sound of an abundance of rain. I hear a sound of victory the Lord says it is done the Lord says it is done the Lord says it is done for I hear victory 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 in the quarters of heaven in the quarters of heaven victory 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 for angels are being released right now angels are being dispatched right now for angels have even been dispatched from Africa right now. Africa right now. Africa right now. From Africa right now. They're coming here. They're coming here. In the name of Jesus from South America. They're coming here. They're coming here. They're coming here. They're coming here. From Africa. From South America. Angelic forces. Angelic reinforcement. Angelic reinforcement. Angelic reinforcement. Pika hata anda ata. Ora bata rata anda eke eke manda rasata. For I hear the sound of victory. 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 So as you guys can clearly see by that video, this woman is like completely off. And, and this is something, this is like so crazy. You know, I've had family members and I had people, you know, judge me for being a satanist i have you know people you know that think that satanism is this crazy cult and then you have this lunacy and this is the exact same shit that they believe in and you know what after seeing this i mean i know i was on the edge about joe biden and whatnot and kamala harris and believe me those are two shitty ass candidates but i would much rather have them than have people elected that believe in this shit I mean, I mean, I don't personally, I don't think Donald Trump is all that religious. I think he's just, you know, has to pander in order to get their votes because, you know, you look at Donald Trump in the past. You know, he was never all about, you know, church and God and Jesus. He, he, he wasn't drunk off of that Jesus juice. But, you know, you, you got Mike Pence, who is not only drunk off of Jesus juice. I think he has like Jesus juice poisoning because he, he's he's clearly off his marbles. All right, and you, you 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 see what this woman is behaving like. She's saying the same over thing. You know, she's claiming that Satanists are you know trying to force the election over to Joe Biden, and now she's summoning e um, angels and stuff. Angels from Africa. We got the spirit of Africa. They're coming from Africa. They're coming from South America, and all this and other that. This is this is what some people here in the United States believe in. Isn't that fucking crazy? People are literally out here believing this shit.
But yet these are the same people. The, these people and the QAnon people and all those other people. They're the ones that claiming us Satanists are the ones that are crazy and evil and all this other shit. I, I, I'm like at a complete loss. I, I shouldn't be at a loss for words because, you know, I'm used to covering stories about crazy Christians. But let's just say th this election and this administration really brought out all the crazy people. Oh, man. If he wins, this is going to if, if Trump wins, this is going to be um, a very fascinating or shouldn't say I shouldn't say fascinating, but very. I don't mean I can't even think of a word to describe it right now. It's going to be a very strange next four years if he wins. But then again, if he loses, it's going to be a very, a very strange next four years because all, all the, all, they're all going to blame. They're all going to blame somebody on this. They're going to blame, start blaming the devil, and then they're going to start, you know, they're going to rebirth, give a rebirth to the satanic panic movement. This this is literally what we're, we're, we're like reliving the 80s and the 90s again. <laughs> and it's 2020. That was like 30 to 40 years ago. And it hasn't died. It just came back like a fucking zombie. Oh, boy. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just This just really blows my fucking mind you know the way that she's talking i mean i mean it sounds like she's fucking rapping and then she starts speaking in tongues <laughs> i mean that, that's fucking crazy shit right there oh boy this this has to be trump's idea i mean i mean not trump's this has to be fucking pence's idea because I, I i mean i could literally picture donald trump watching some shit like this and laughing his fucking ass off, but you know these are these are the people that support him. So, I'm at this point I'm more afraid of Mike Pence than I am of Donald Trump. And trust me, um, there's a lot to be afraid of. He believes in all that electroshock therapy, put put everything in God's hands, and this and that the other. Well, newsflash, and I don't mean to offend anybody, but fuck it, there is no fucking God. Well, probably isn't anyway. It's not enough evidence. So, my thing is this: if 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 you really, if this is what you really believe in, where was God at all, all those other years? Where was God at during 9/11? Where was God at during slavery? Where was God at, you know, during the Holocaust and all these other atrocities? And you know, God can't help. I mean, look at the way the country is. Where was God at? All right, where we got two hundred thousand deaths from the coronavirus. Where was God at? I mean, you have some people, you know, other right-wing people that are saying, you know, the coronavirus is punishment for, you know, America's sins. It's punishment for gay rights and it's punishment for kicking gods out of school and this and that and the other. Is that the really is that the god that you really believe in? But that's all I have to say. I just wanted to share this video with you guys just so you guys can see the lunacy that we're dealing with and what, you know, people like us have to deal with, what Satanists have to deal with, you know, between all, all the religious fundamentalists that are going around this country. This is an everyday thing, especially if you're a Satanist. You have to deal with these types of people. Some of them are in our family. Some of them, you know, we work with, some, with people that believe this type of shit. This is a reality for us Satanists. So... If you guys think that it ain't tough being a Satanist or that Satanists are just trying to be edgy and this and that and the other, well, no. Things are real. We really have to deal with people that are this crazy. And this is just, you know, an example of an extremely religious Karen. And I have to deal with them pretty much almost at every job I worked at. But that's all I have to say. You guys stay safe, stay metal. Hail Satan. And I'll see you guys later on tonight.